First Thessalonians in the Bible prophesies that the rapture of the saints and the judgment of the Great Tribulation will happen at the end of the world. In addition, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3 clearly reveals when that timing is. This is to prepare the church to get raptured before the Great Tribulation. Therefore, we must take a closer look when that time is that the Bible talks about and fully prepare for the coming of the Lord. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3 For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. When we look at this verse, the time of destruction upon the world is when they shall say peace and safety. However, on average, the world has been retaining the atmosphere of peace and safety throughout time. Nevertheless, the Lord still did not come, and the destruction of the world has not come as well. So then, we can know that the meaning of peace and safety here is not the atmosphere from ordinary circumstance, but the circumstance that comes from a specific incident. Because of that, it is necessary for us to look at what that incident is. First, the incident of when they shall say safety is caused by the pandemic. At the end of 2019, the whole world suddenly became unsafe due to the pandemic, whereupon the white liquid appeared as an angel of light as the solution. However, the news that this substance was developed in a short time made people hesitate in receiving it. At that time, the slogan that the government brought up was safety. If you go to the CDC website, when it comes to this substance, the word safety is exceptionally emphasized in comparison to the others. In almost every page of description, there is not one that does not have this word. On top of that, the whole world has joined together and is declaring that this substance is safe. An incident where all the countries united together and declared safety like this has never happened even once in the history of mankind. Because of this, we can say that this incident exactly talks about that time where they shall say safety in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. Second, the incident of when they shall say peace is the Abraham Accords that was tied in Washington, D.C. on September 15, 2020. This is the peace agreement that Israel made with the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, assisted by President Trump. The United Arab Emirates is a federation of seven Islamic monarchies that have united together. Namely, Abu Dhabi, Ajman, Dubai, Fujairah, Ras Al Haima, Sharjah, and Umm Al Quwain all belong to this. This peace treaty that Israel made with the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain is a different level from the normalized relations it made with Egypt and Jordan a long time ago. It is because it's the first time since Israel was founded that the countries who had been in conflict over the issue with Palestine established diplomatic relations with Israel. Not only that, because this signifies religious peace between Christianity and Islam, this is a very important event. Through this, a foothold for Israel to build a third temple has been given. The descendants of Abraham's two children, Ishmael and Isaac, who had been in war and conflict for a long time, reconciled with each other as their father Abraham as the center. Now starting with this, more Arab countries will tie the peace treaty with Israel. Already after this occurrence, Morocco joined in this treaty with not even three months past. Not too long from now, Palestine will also join, and in the end, all the obstacles that have been hindering the building of the Third Temple will be removed, and they will give the mosque courtyard so that Israel can build the temple. Because of this, we can say that the Abraham Accords is a historic event in which the Wailing Wall collapsed. They even made a memorial coin for this historic event, but when we look at it, we can know what kind of peace they mean. I will briefly share just a few images that are on the coin. First, when you see the front of the coin, there are flags of Israel and the United Arab Emirates, and below that, the Wailing Wall is drawn. It looks like this symbolizes that the peace agreement is the incident where the Wailing Wall collapsed. And on each side of the Wailing Wall, symbols or buildings representing different countries are depicted. 
but it looks like the peace implied here is not just for Israel and the United Arab Emirates, but signifies the peace of the whole world. In other words, this peace symbolizes that it will go towards a one-world government. On the back of the coin, a large sword is depicted. A sword symbolizes war, and this kind of shaped sword is used in Islam when executing people. However, the very fact that this kind of sword that leads to war and death is depicted on this commemorative coin signifies a false peace. Furthermore, look at the images drawn inside there. At the very top part at the end, there is a star and planet combined of Jupiter and Saturn. And the star represents Lucifer, and Jupiter refers to the king of gods in Roman mythology, which represents the supreme god among the gods, meaning Satan, and in Greek mythology, they call him Zeus. And Saturn represents the god of agriculture and time, which looks like this is revealing that the world economy will soon enter into the Antichrist system. Underneath the planets representing Satan, a dove symbolizing peace is depicted, which symbolizes the peace given by Satan Lucifer, which also represents a false peace. Also, below the dove are NASA, Wi-Fi, space telescopes, binary codes, engineering, a palm tree and the shining sun behind it, a satellite, a syringe, and heartbeats, all held by the computer chip. All of the images will have their own hidden meanings, but when simply looking over it, we can know that these represent advanced high technology and are tools for the Antichrist's control system. The computer chip especially is the key to running all these tools and is the core device to making it possible for the Antichrist to control the world and make a one world government. That computer chip is connected by a thin line to the handle and base of the sword, which have 10 stars and various symbols drawn on there. This refers to the beast and the seven kings on its head and the 10 kings from Revelation chapter 17. These kings are the real beasts who control the world with the Antichrist placed at the forefront as their puppet. And the beads wrapped around the handle of the sword represent the prostitute who is the most powerful. This reveals that she will control the beast and kings and through the computer chip will control the whole world and rule through the sword. Also, it looks as though this sword symbolizes the beheading of people who don't receive the mark of the beast during the Great Tribulation. And on the right side of the coin, there is a written verse of Jeremiah 14.13 in Hebrew, which says, I will give you assured peace in this place. But actually, when you look at the full context of verse 13, these words are not what God said, but what the false prophet said. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 13. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, the prophets say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. As you can see, this verse is the words that the false prophets prophesied to Israel about, pertaining to false peace, that Jeremiah mourns to God about as he quotes their words exactly. However, they skipped this kind of background and engraved only the last part of this verse on this memorial coin that says, I will give you assured peace in this place. Therefore, the true meaning of this verse reveals false peace from false prophets. Anyway, we can know this peace treaty means false peace when just even looking at the coin. To simply summarize this, them declaring peace when there is no peace, and them shouting safety when there is no safety, is the incident exactly stated in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, saying, For when they shall say, Peace and safety. In addition, after all these things happened, on November 9, 2021, there was an incident where a statue of a combination of several animals was displayed in the visitor's plaza at the UN headquarters named as the Guardian of International Peace and Security. However, due to the disputes that arose through various issues with Christianity and the public, UN explained that this statue was just going to be temporarily displayed until December 20th because it was a gift given by Mexico, and they removed it on that day. 
this statue was removed with not even reaching two months. However, this is another incident that proves that the time of peace and safety has already been achieved. All these things happened within two years since the pandemic started. Things are moving very rapidly. Therefore, we must not forget that we are at the time of the Lord's coming any moment from now on. But there is a thing we have to be cautious about here. It is that Jesus is coming at an hour when we do not think. Matthew chapter 24, verse 44 Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Mark chapter 13, verse 33 Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. Besides these scriptures, Jesus clearly states in several places throughout the Synoptic Gospels that He is coming at a time that we would not think. Nevertheless, false prophets are arising and setting the time of Jesus' coming with plausible Bible interpretations and with scientific interpretations of the signs of the heavens. It is hard to distinguish whether they are false prophets because they pretend to be real through their expert Bible knowledge. However, we can know to a certain point when we look at where they belong and also look at their hand gestures. This hand gesture is an ancient secret that symbolizes Kabbalism that the Jewish used to invoke magic. This signifies witchcraft mixed with Christianity. Also, as these hand gestures also symbolize Satan, Illuminati members use these signs to notify each other that they are on the same team. Besides these, there are many more hand gestures, and right now, even in Protestant churches, many ministers belong to them and use a variety of hand gestures, so we must be cautious. The minister you see right now is not only using the hand gestures, but he also graduated from a Roman Catholic University in Kansas. This kind of background represents where his theological thoughts and beliefs are based in. The Bible tells us that false prophets will arise in the end times, and they shall deceive the very elect if it were possible. Matthew chapter 24, verse 23 through 24. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Here, saying not to believe it even if any man shall say here is Christ or there is not just only instructing us to not believe it when there are cults claiming themselves as Christ. It also means don't believe it even if someone says that the time of Jesus' coming is here or there, which means setting the time of Jesus' coming such as a certain day, hour, month, or year are all great deceptions the Bible talks about. False prophets will show great signs and wonders in order to deceive even the elect if it were possible. However, the signs and wonders here do not only mean miracles that heal sicknesses and split the Red Sea. The signs of the heavens are scientifically interpreted, and the interpretation of these mixed with expert Bible knowledge is a great sign and wonder in itself that deceives people in the end times. Even though the timing of the rapture they set was missed several times, the reason people still trust and follow them is because they have been hearing and seeing these kinds of plausible interpretations as like signs and wonders. Not that long ago, I happened to see a few videos posted around that talked about the rapture possibly happening during the Feast of Trumpets this September. After I briefly saw them, my heart was very heavy. It is true that the last trumpet itself symbolizes the rapture, and it is true that the Jewish feasts are in the Bible, but nevertheless, setting the time of Jesus' coming as the Feast of Trumpets is not biblical. The Lord clearly said that He will come at an hour when we think not. However, if He comes during the Feast of Trumpets, then it becomes a time that we are able to think of, and this is totally opposite from Jesus' word. There are those who are saying that if Jesus doesn't come during this Feast of Trumpets, then we have to wait for another seven years again for Jesus to come. They are saying that it has to be that way when calculating the Jewish feasts, signs of the heavens, and on top of that, the biblical interpretations. 
then that the saying that God has to come in the timing that people calculated and set. But how unbiblical is this? The fact that they postpone or set the timing of Jesus' coming whenever they want through plausible interpretations, as like great signs and wonders, is playing around with people. This is false and a great deception that doesn't even make sense. This is an act that challenges God's sovereignty and is Satan's strategy to deceive those who are the chosen ones at the end times. Whether the Lord comes one year later, seven years later, or He comes right away today, that is something for God to set, and this is God's absolute sovereignty that no one should appoint. Satan is using all methods he can to completely change the absolute truth that Jesus can come at an hour we don't expect, which is even at this very moment. Some think that if the rapture doesn't take place on this Feast of Trumpets, then we have to wait until the next Feast of Trumpets. Or some think that we have to wait another seven years more. But these are the thoughts that Satan has instilled. Because these thoughts that make people think they still have time until the next Feast of Trumpets or another seven years are the weapons of Satan that can make people who were awakened to become loosened again and make them fall asleep spiritually. While in that state, if the Lord comes today, even if they are the chosen, they drop out from being able to be raptured. That is exactly what Satan wants. Because of this, we must be careful and aware of these kinds of worst evil deceptions of false prophets in the end times. The Bible clearly says that the timing of the rapture is when they shall say peace and safety, not at the Feast of Trumpets. And that occurrence of peace and safety has already been fulfilled. Therefore, let us remember that from now on, we have entered into the timing where Jesus can come at any time, and we must prepare for the coming of the Lord with all our strength. So, I pray with all my heart that at an hour we do not think, we shall meet in the air with the last trumpet sound. Jesus is coming soon.